An important part of being a basic research scientist is disseminating our discoveries to a broad audience in effective and meaningful ways. Multimedia art exhibits have the potential for high public engagement by appealing to curiosity, aesthetics, and emotion. Attempting such an exhibit is Parque das Aves, a bird park and sanctuary situated near the iconic Iguazu Falls in southern Brazil. The local ecosystem, the Atlantic Rainforest, is facing a deforestation crisis, and Parque das Aves is shifting their entire focus towards its conservation and education. Their new focal point is the Cecropia tree because of its countless fascinating and ecologically important interactions with other organisms in the ecosystem. They are dedicating a massive new enclosure to educate visitors about these relationships. The enclosure's entrance will feature one of the Cecropia tree's most interesting relationships, its mutualistic symbiosis with Azteca ants. Trees provide food and hollow stems for the ants to live in, and ants protect the plant from herbivores and vines. Our goal is to convey the concept Cecropia trees have a mutualistic relationship with ants. This may seem like a simple concept, but new information in an unfamiliar format can be overwhelming, so we must first determine how best to guide visitors through the experience to maximize lasting absorption. To inform the entrance design before it's built, we created a three-stage temporary walkthrough test exhibit combining illustrated video footage, interactive sculptures, and live organisms. The visitors enter the exhibit off the main trail and enter a closed pavilion with a series of four large TVs, each playing a different short loop that I filmed to cover key aspects of the mutualism. The Cecropia tree lives in the Atlantic rainforest. The Azteca ants live in the tree. The tree feeds the ants. The ants defend the tree. Next, they enter the space with the interactive Cecropia sculptures. Trees light up with the activity patterns of ants taken straight from real behavioral data. The light pattern reacts if you shake the tree, again based on the ants response to vibrational disturbance data taken from the field. The lights represent the ants patrolling and defending their tree. From there, visitors enter an open area with living potted Cecropia plants that I grew from seedlings, where they can observe Azteca ants patrolling, feeding on, and entering their trees. Shortly after joining back with the main trail, we gave them an incredibly short, open-ended survey. What was the theme of the exhibit? We tested several methods of guidance that fell into two categories, a human mediator or video and text signage. We separated survey responses into different categories based on level of absorption, mentioning something unrelated, mentioning ants or plants only, mentioning both ants and plants, and mentioning the core target concept, the ant-plant mutualism. Overall absorption was high, with 15% of people mentioning the ant-plant mutualism and 85% mentioning some combination. While the differences in absorption between guidance methods was not statistically significant by chi-squared test, we found that video and text signage without a human mediator to be slightly more effective at communicating our target concept. 
allowing the visitor time and space to explore an art exhibit on their own seems to be an extremely effective science outreach format. Informed by this test exhibit, the final designs for the permanent exhibit are being polished and construction awaits, pending the conditions of the current global pandemic.